Stewart's ballet career has come full circle. I danced here for eight years, back from 91 to 99. Now artistic director, Cywert's passionate hindsight about this fiercely graceful art form includes tough traditions. There's a weird phenomenon in ballet. If you go into a ballet school, you're going to see a sea of little girls in pink, and you might see a couple boys. And then as dancers mature, you usually, in a company, it'll be a more equal number of men and women. But then you go beyond that into leadership and it's almost all men. Creating an unfair reality. Men are usually called men and women are usually called girls. As a woman in this art form, to have experienced that through my career has been disappointing. And as a leader now in the field, I get to work to actively change that. Cywert is leading ballet companies across the country, pushing for more diversity. Now at the forefront, the top in the country, showcasing productions led by women. One of the things with ballet I'm actively trying to change is sometimes ballet feels like you need a secret handshake to get into the door. Amy tells us last year there was just one female director behind a full ballet performance in the country. That woman was Amy. It was right here in Sacramento, the Nutcracker last December. Overdue progress, but more work needs to be done. We need to hold up the mirror, look at ourselves, and see how, how we're behaving and do better. At the Sophia Theater in Sacramento, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.